Hi, welcome back to Moose and Chemistry. We're going to look at the electron configuration for gold, AU, element number 79. All right, so let's go ahead and start the electron configuration. We'll put a start right here. Now remember, that, uh, we're going to use the diagonal rule, which is this one right here. And S can hold two electrons, P can hold six, D can hold 10, and F can hold 14. All right, so we're going to try one that's going to actually use some F. So let's go ahead and do this. So we got 79 electrons, and we want to do the pin. So we have 79 protons, because that's the atomic number. 79 electrons, because it's electrically neutral. And you subtract uh, 197 from 79, you get 118 neutrons. Okay, so this is going to be a long one, so here we go. 1s2, so we do that. 2s2. 2p6 and 3s2 so far so good then we're going to go 3p6 4s2 then we're going to go 3d10 4p6 5s2 now so let's look at this next set here. All right, so now let's add these up so far. So two and two and six make 10, two and two, six, two make 20, 30, 36, 37, 38. Then we go 4D10. thirty eight be 48, 5P6. And then now let's look at the 6s here. So just temporarily, 6s2. We may come back and have to fix that. I think we will, but we'll see. Because it could be an exception. So let's see, we've got 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 8 plus 10 plus 6, plus 2. So we're at 56, and we need 79. All right. So now we're going to go to 4F. We're going to have 4F14, because it's going to hold 14 electrons. Then 5D10, OK. Now, actually it's going to be 5D9. So let's fix that for a second. Let's see what we've got. This is where the, the exception comes in. Hang on for a second. Let me get this thing working. There we go. Okay, so now we add 2 and 2 and 6 and make 10, 2 and 6 and 2 make 20, 30, 36, 38, 48, 54, 56, 56, and uh, 14 makes 70, and then you would think about 5D9. Well, here's the thing. 5D9. All I need is one more electron. See that right here? 5D9. You just need one more electron to make that 5D10. You can't take it from the lower shells. You have to take it from the upper. So you see where they have this uh, 6S2 right there? So what you're going to do is you're going to borrow one from there. So let's go ahead and change things. So we're going to make this now. We're going to make that 4 back there. We're going to make this 6s1. And then we're going to carry that electron over to this one right here where the arrow is now on 5d9. So now we're going to change that. Hang on for one moment. So we're going to make that 5d10. Okay, that's pretty cool. 
That's an exception. So you got to be close, pay close attention. Our orbital notation shows it a little bit better. Okay, so we got 1s up and down. We have 2s up and down. Then we have 2px, 2py, and 2pz. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then 3s up and down. Okay? Then we're going to have, uh, after 3s, we have 3, 3px, 3py, and 3pz. So we're going to go, okay, we're going to go six of those. So one, two, three, always go up and then start down. Four, five, and six. 4s, up and down. Then we're going to go to 3d x squared minus y squared, 3d xy, 3d yz, 3d xz, and down here 3dz square. So we're going to count off 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so that we're there now. We're now we go to 4p6, 4px, 4py, and 4pz. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then we go to 5s, up and down. Then we're going to go to 4d10, 4d x squared minus y squared, 4d xy, 4d yz, 4d xz, 4d z squared. So we've got 10 of those. So watch this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So now we need more space here. So we need to go 5p6. So 5px, 5py, and 5pz. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now we're going to go to, originally we had done 6s too. Let me show you why we're going to change that. So it was 6s up and down. And then 4f, here comes the fun part. 4f is a y cubed minus 3yx squared. Okay, next one's going to be 4f. 5yz square minus y r square. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, this is really messed up. 4f be 5xz square. Minus 3xr squared. So messed up, I'm telling you. Then it comes down here. 4f x cubed minus 3xy squared. 4f zx squared minus zy squared. I've actually seen these things named a little bit different. Uh, but you know, you never know. Uh, next one's going to be, of course, 4f xyz. Okay, and then, of course, last but not least, uh, <laughs> you ready? Um, this is going to be 4f 5z cubed. Uh, minus 3z r squared. Whoa. <laughs> so watch this. We go 1, 
two, three, it holds 14, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, last but not least is 5D10. Okay, or 5D9 in this case. So I'm going to show you why we move electrons around. Boy, this is something else, I want to tell you. All right. Um, hmm. Whoa. So let's see here. So we go uh, 5DX squared minus Y squared, uh, 5DXY, 5DXZ, 5DX squared minus Y squared, 5DXY, um, 5DYYZ, 5DXZ, okay, and then of course 5DZ squared. So look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So now all we need is one more to go in there. So what we need to do is we need to borrow one. We're going to borrow one from right here, the 6S2. See that right there? We're going to take that one and we're going to put it right here where I just made a mark. Okay, so when we do that, uh, eraser, we're going to need to get rid of that. And of course we need the eraser again. I know it's a little hard to see in this, but that's how you do it. All right, so we borrow one from the six, which had two, and we place it right here where the 10 is. So, wow. Okay, let's look at the noble gas notation. I'm, I know it's like this, this F shell stuff is just totally amazing. All right, um, let's see here. So the nearest noble gas to this guy is going to be, hmm, oh yes, Xeon, X-E. So Xeon's going to end in 5D, uh, let's see here, 4, is it, da, 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 da. okay. So our noble gas is going to end at our 54th electron which is going to be 5p6. So right here, all of this can be written off, okay? So I'm gonna go to the next page to finish this because I'm gonna to need to do that. Okay, and so now our noble gas notation would be XE, and then we're going to finish it off by going very carefully 4F14, five 5D10, five 6S1. Now, our quantum notation. All right, so let's see what our N, L, M, and S numbers would be. Okay, so let's see here. Gold is in the D block, so it's going to be N minus 1. And 6 is the row, so it would be 6 minus 1. So the N value is going to be, let's see here, 3, 4, 5. Five, so it'd be five. Our L value, so S is zero, P is one, D is two. Okay, and then let's do our, let's see, it's gonna be, let's see here, negative two for lithium, negative one for hathium, uh, zero for tantium, tungsten one, Re is two. Osmium is negative 2, iridium is negative 1, platinum is 0, so gold is 1. So 
So that's going to be our M value. And our S value, these are going in the second set, so these are down arrows. So this is going to be one half negative. And that's it for gold. You guys be snarly, and we'll see you back here at Moose and Chemistry.